Oh, that sounds lovely! What the hell? That's weird. I just heard a bunch of raving death, and then I walk in and it's like, oh no, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Why would, what could possibly go wrong? Also, game, you taunt me too much with a broken store, especially when my inventory is this full. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, this room is loaded. Do I have a small med pack? I actually do. Perfect. Might as well just top up. Nice and quick. Also, yeah, those riot shields really helped, really. Oh, Jesus Christ. Welcome to what I dub the Tower of Doom. This place is a freaking nightmare, and as, as I was saying earlier, like, places to be really, really, really frightened of on a, on a hardcore playthrough, this, out of all the places in EarthGov, is one of the absolute most dangerous. Oh my god, I took out so many people with that! That felt freaking awesome. Oh, you fucking kidding me? No, that's not what I meant to do. Whatever. Okay, I still got 20 shots in this thing. That's good. There we go. Yeah, this room is a freaking nightmare, because it's basically just three levels of non-stop enemies. Oh, that fucker actually spit at me, you piece of shit. And you're still alive, too. Oh, no, you're dead. Good. I don't know. Sometimes when the enemies drop to the floor, they, well, they'll feign death. It doesn't happen very often. Like, in one playthrough, you might see it happen maybe once or twice. And something, like, I feel like it might have happened a little bit more often in Dead Space 1, but I don't know. Again, it really does not happen often. I have to use another med pack because of that fucking spitter. God damn it. They fire fast. They fire way faster than the actual regular spitters do. It's crazy. Okay, let's give this a quick reload. Jesus Christ. It even reloads quick, too. This needs a good reload, too. Okay, awesome. Yeah, that's level one dealt with. What the? It stopped. That was really weird. It went to fire the spit at me and then it was just like, you know what? I'm actually not going to. See? Right as I say feigning death, that guy was feigning death. Because you can tell because the music flipped out as soon as I stomped him. Because that was the game's way of being like, boo, he's about to attack you. But too bad because I just grinded my boot into his face. Level 2, let's go. Nice try. No. Shit. Man, I gotta say, using the Infector's spit against them is a strategy I never really try. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. No! <laughs> that was weird. I started charging a contact beam and I was like, shit, I don't want to do that. And I scrolled weapons and... Okay, phew. Oh my god, that's intense. 
Yeah, sorry I'm not talking much, it's just, Jesus Christ, like, I really don't want to die. Because I'm pretty sure if you die in this part, like, it's back to the very top of the room, too. <laughs> or back a couple hours! I keep saying that as if I actually went back a couple hours, but it did not happen to me. But I remember it was getting through... Your heart's pounding so much through the entire EarthGov section, like, because you just want it to be over in a good way. Because, like, you, f you really feel like you've earned it. Anyone out there? Weird, okay. I could have sworn I just heard someone. Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay, and finally, level three. Gee, what could be waiting for me on this floor? Absolutely nothing, don't worry. Nothing would possibly attack me now. What could possibly go wrong? Oh boy. Bring it on, asshole. <laughs> oh my god. I've never used a contact beam on a brute before. I was like, I wonder how many shots it'll take. There you go. Holy shit. By the way, that's an elite brute, too. That is a... Like, it's, it, this is to go even further beyond a normal brute, and it could not stand up to a contact beam. Oh my god. Also, we got an audio log that I actually just didn't play. Whoops, did not mean to do that. There we go. Um. Peter Phelps, research log 43549. Uh, I blacked out early last night and woke up this morning staring at a tiny, fully formed version of the marker in one of the crystal air printing backs. I had entered the entire heuristic sequencing algorithm. I can still hear it in my mind, like a song now. I know that oh, the are working, but this is something entirely different. Yeah, if you're building markers in your sleep, then that's when you know you fucked with you fucked with the wrong alien artifact. Holy shit. God, it feels like we're going like it feels like we're breaking into like a secret bank or something. Oh. Oh god. Oh, that's a lot of them. Oh god, that's not good. They're all heading towards the center of this place. Gee, I wonder where they actually stored the marker. You know, just once I wanted to be like, oh yeah, the marker's on like the second floor. It's like second floor lounge room. Like they just put it in a place that you wouldn't expect. Okay. Oh, a bench and a shop, finally. Oh my god, it's been forever. Wait, text lock. Oh, shit. Well, it looks like Tideman wasn't actually the one calling the shots around here. Or maybe he was around here, but, you know, <laughs> every boss has a boss behind them, it looks like, and he didn't seem too happy. Oh, well. Not that it's any more business, so let's just actually get rid of all this crap. Holy shit, look at all these stasis packs I can sell. That is awesome. Get rid of this. We can get rid of tons of ripper blades. Okay, and uh, do we have any... Right, we have infinite contact ammo. ammo. I completely forgot about that. Um, let's use some of our funds to actually buy a bunch of plasma cutter energy. That should be good. Maybe just one more. Um, and uh, as far as buying power nodes, I mean, we could. I mean, I guess so. Why not? There we go. It's not like we're going to be buying anything else, right? So, screw it. Okay, let's take it to the bench right away and uh, see what we can do. Not much. Contact beam. Why the hell not? There we go. <laughs> Maxed out contact beam. All it took was exactly eight power nodes. Which, by the way, just a word of advice, there are no more power node doors. So, at this point, don't worry about keeping a spare because you don't need one. So, yeah, all that's left is these two air things. And uh, I'm pretty sure we'll actually be able to do that before the end. So, we will have a fully maxed out uh, rig and... And three weapons, which is 
unprecedented. I cannot believe that. Uh, we are doing extremely good for this playthrough, so I'm pretty happy with that. Holy shit. I didn't know the reload could actually go up any further. That's great. Okay. I'm coming for you, Tideman. Let's go. Oh. Elevator door. Buzzkill! There we go. Oh, God. You know it's getting intense when the actual music starts playing. This isn't even playing like it, like for the game. This is actually blaring over the intercoms well here in EarthGov. Oh. Holy fucking shit. Oh, God. You're all coming to the marker. Convergence is at hand. I do you a trouble from the start, but they told me you were necessary. That your mind was the purest. I spent years sifting through your demented brain. This is not the way it was supposed to happen. Well, how is it supposed to happen, Tyler? We had it under control. Clark, this is not our fault. We are so close to understanding it. Oh God, no! The movie trailer sound effects taking over. Oh fuck! Yeah, that glass isn't going to hold for much longer, buddy. Holy fuck. I thought the marker in Death Space 1 was pretty big. This is a... This is unbelievable! <laughs> anyway, moving on. Oh, oh, by the way, you'd think Clark would be like, Okay, maybe this is a good time to actually put on my helmet, but apparently not. Okay. Oh, God. What the hell is this? Machine, just like Straw said. Remember this. The machine activates the parts of our brain where the marker codes are stored. But how does that threaten the marker? What were they afraid of? Me. Us. Working together. Step four. Yes. Are you ready? <laughs> At least you're honest, ghost. <laughs> Can I call you ghost? Whatever. Step one. Wrong side. Step two. The screws go tight. All around. Oh god, I was never good at dentist appointments. Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> Okay, welcome to the uh, the squeamish to look away mini game, the eye, the eye doctor exam. So you have to drive this needle uh, into uh, Isaac's eye, guide it into the eye, and uh, for the love of God, if the light is red, do not hold down the button, because Isaac's gonna start flipping out, and uh, it let's just say it uh, does not end well for him. He's gonna need a, an eye patch if that goes through. So just take it slow. There's no time limit. Just take it really slow, and just get that needle in there. Oh God! Oh God! Okay, the squeamish can look now. <laughs> Hey, at least I get that cool eye patch. <laughs> and without the death. Nicole. Where are you? Whoa. Follow the light, Isaac. I'll be waiting for you at the marker. Well, what do I do? Yep. 
Oh, that was weird. You actually kind of just despawned right there. Whatever. The ghost is dead. Chapter 14. Sweet. Okay. Well, let's get a move on then. What was that? Oh, God. Okay, and welcome to the Uber Morph. That's right, the hunter returns from Dead Space 1, the unkillable necromorph. And yes, he's back, and <laughs> there's no jet engines anywhere to be found in EarthGov, unfortunately. So we gotta get out of this room before he murders us! Okay, let's go. <laughs> this is where the uh, having the stasis recharger on your... Uh, on your advanced suit is really good, by the way, because holy shit, this Necromorph is relentless and he will not stop chasing you, so we gotta go, 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 go. Oh, sweet, an audio log. Damn, so Tymon actually... Oh, fuck off. I gotta say, maybe Tymon isn't that much of a bad guy. If he was willing to evacuate the entire station, even though they had specific guidelines saying, oh, in case of an alien outbreak... There's a power node here? Cool, I never knew that. In case of an alien outbreak, do not evacuate the station. And Tymon's just like, well, fuck that. Oh, God, are you kidding me?! Uh, let's grab this guy. Spoiler alert, you actually need to use this guy to <laughs> get out of this room, so let's just do that right now. We gotta go, go, go. Close the fucking door! Are you fucking kidding me?! Are you fucking kidding me right now?! He can come in here?! I've never seen this before! <laughs> oh my god, no! Are you fucking kidding me?! I have never in a million- <laughs> Oh god! I have never seen the Herbomorph come into this corridor before. I don't think he's supposed to! There's a save station right there for Christ's sake. There's another power node here. Cool. I never knew that either. Holy shit. There we go. Oh god! There we go. Good enough for me! Close the door! <laughs> Holy shit! That was the most intense Ubermorph chase I've ever had! He he has never followed me into that hallway before, ever. Considering there's a save station here, again, I don't think the game expects that to happen. Okay, well, when I said that he follows you to the end of... Oh, shit. I can't do anything about that. That sucks. Whatever. Are you fucking kidding me? You motherfucker. Also, the... Are you fucking kidding me? Is that a black one? Oh, fuck off! Get away from me. Yeah, let's go, go, go. Why the fuck is this so intense? <laughs> go, 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 go. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen a black infector before. I didn't even know those were a thing. Have I just not been paying attention? Okay. Time for one final air section. Let's see if we can pass this exam. Uh, freeze that, by the way. Uh, 
Uh, this is bad, because we could really use stasis right about now. Or I could just balls to the wall it. There we go. Oh, shit. Damn it. There we go. Grab the gold semiconductor. Okay, we really gotta heal, by the way. There we go. Okay, where... Oh, there's the exit. Perfect. Sorry, I was in a frantic mood in that room. I just... Holy shit, I can't believe how intense that was. 